engine runs fantastic. It was installed when the car had an approximately 180,000 miles on it. It's a 3.5 JDM engine. The entertainment center, uh, it's a ride runner with a DFX 5.1 front end. Um, I'll show you right now, like I'll be going to the music, going to my playlist. There's nothing in my playlist. I'm going to add Creed. First I'm going to look it up. Enter. There's Creed. I'm going to add everything in the Creed folder. Add selected. Go to player. down just a little bit then go to menu we can look at today's weather unusually nice which is good oops sorry that's not a key west that's where I'm going uh, our weather up here in Remsen nice today again unusually nice we got GPS here My guidance. Also, when um, your phone is uh, done through this interface via Bluetooth, and I also have um, working on the voice recognition. Have it just about all done. The last thing I have to do is put a uh, momentary switch in here. So you can see on the steering column is for voice recognition, the microphone, Sound Max. Um, and to give an example of what I'll do, I'm going to shut it down right now by voice. Shut down. And you see it automatically shuts down. Uh, so all I have to do is add a switch and I won't have to touch the screen to initiate it and I'm done. You can see their cat skin seats. Every time I get in and out of the car, I put the seat all the way back. One of the common problems they have is the rub outs on the driver's seat. You can see there's absolutely nothing on this one. Dash, everything looks good. If you look in the back, that's the back seat area. Two 10 inch subs. And of course, underneath the grate is where the P4 computer system is that drives the whole thing. On the trunk, 